Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one here, and we are actually in our ore collection area. Now, this is different from what I had originally anticipated because it turns out these uh, silo hopper things don't like being right next to each other. So you had to have a space in there, but then if I did the space in there, then it wouldn't line up with these things. So I had to leave them spaced out by an entire block, which is extremely inefficient, I know, but it's all I had, so. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is get myself an interior door real quick. Uh, door interior. Can I make it? I need iron and copper, which should be in here. Okay, that's silver. Uh, we needed silver for the sorter motherboard. So that was unexpected, but you know. Alright, so copper. Iron. Good. Okay, so that can go there, that can turn off, and then all of this can just kind of get stored for now, I guess. All right. Um, so we did not make the door yet, but we can now. So we'll get that going. And then I've already gone through uh, the computer, whatever thing, to set up all of the stackers, which are up on, or sorry, the sorters, which are up on top. There's also st stackers up on top too. And then you can see that the silo does go down there, so it will collect. And then it'll go down through here, and then I have these digital valves over here set on one. So every time you click this, you'll get one stack um, of whatever ore this happens to be out. So that's kind of the idea um, that I had behind it. Hopefully it works as I intend it to. Um, we will see. Okay, so that should be our door, good to go. All right, now this door uh, is for everything else. So we're doing our main five ores because, well, in case you wanted to see what's below here. <laughs> Did not mean to do that, all right. Anyways, uh, right, so door. Um, anything that isn't sorted should drop down into here. And then we're just going to, uh, yeah, we'll just, do a regular door, I guess. Um, that needs plastic, right? Oh no, it just needs glass, okay. There we go. All right, so that should be good to go there. Uh, I'm gonna go and get myself something to drink real quick. And then I don't know how many days uh, I've been building, so it's possible that we could run into another storm uh, during this episode. Uh, it's. I've just been kind of just going, 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 going. Um, but yeah, so uh, there's that. Uh, we did get another uh, can of tomato soup, so that's good. And we're still at 79% on this one, so we're doing really, really good on food so far. Um, let's see, close that out. Uh, I could probably use some more oxygen. So I could probably go and do that. Um, I've been replacing my filters as they uh, get low. I mean, I usually wait until I'm on my last filter that, and then wait until that one gets to like halfway and then I'll go and change something, which is probably not the way that I should do it, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, so that's that. That's good to go. Um, we also, oh, hey, um, you, sir, can just go right there for now. Um, let's see, I need to take this out. Yes, I know the waste tank is critical because I just took it out. That should be okay. Then we'll just pop you back in there. Call it good. All right. Oh, and uh, I left these things on this entire time. Whoops. Uh, all we have is O2 and some nitrous. Um, nitrous is nicely at 25 degrees, so hopefully it will be working. Um, that does have liquid nitrous in there, along with some pollutants, which I may have a use for later. But we'll just... Uh, See how this thing works. Wait, wait, how is this losing pressure? How does that even work? Like, what? Is this thing, like, broken? No? I mean, you do see that it's losing pressure, right? And yet, this should be pumping stuff in? Oh. Well, that, that was, there's no more nitrous left in there. Okay, well, that's awkward. 
Um, okay, well then, if there's no more nitrogen and there's no more CO2, those aren't so bad, I guess. Um, I guess we'll get the rest of... That was it for the oxygen. Okay. Easy enough, I guess. Um, that's all I've got left for that stuff, which... Actually, what is my uh, volatiles at right now? Is it zero? No, we have that. Um, 2,000 moles there. 2,000 moles there, so... I could make more fuel, I guess, if I really needed it. Um, or I could uh, fill this thing up again with some more pollutants. Um, not, not pollutants specifically, but uh, exhaust. There we go. I have no idea how hot this thing is right now, but uh, we'll find out if it if it heats up the room. All right, so you can go there, turn that on, just kind of vent all of that out, and the room is heating up, so that is still quite hot. But this should cool it back down, so that'll be good. Um, yeah. All right. So, I mean, it's it's doing what it's supposed to do, I think. Uh, this is working well, I believe. Okay, and then we'll just uh, watch this, and then when the temp and the temperature is dropping in there, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm happy with that. All right. All right, so now uh, I did turn the uh, combustion centrifuge back on, so we'll get to see uh, what kind of kind of nonsense is going on up here, and how much stuff we have going on up here. A, a lot. Holy crap, that's almost 2,000. Um, well, uh, we're going to turn you off. Okay, that's doing its thing, it's dropping down, it is basically empty, good to go. Uh, how are we doing in here with that stuff? 1770, not bad. Uh, looks like the uh, volatiles are burning up with the oxygen. Okay, so we got little tiny fires going on in there, and it looks like it is cooling down after that. But, um, yeah, that's good warm temperatures, which I think I could probably make use of. All right, so um, here goes nothing. So let's uh, watch. Okay, so we're dropping off all of the stuff. And then we should see, as it moves through, should be dropping. And if it doesn't drop, okay, good. Good. All right. So that seems to be working. Um, looks like it's dropping off some nickel. Okay, that's all the stuff that we are not sorting. Good. There goes some coal. Good. And then uh, there's gold. Good. And now we're back onto the iron. So we can see this kind of going through, which is good. Now, this is probably just like a waste right here because this will never fill up all the way. Um, I mean, I could put in like a valve right here or something. So that way, you know, if these do end up getting like too full or whatever, like they'll just turn off until I don't need them anymore. Um, yeah, so that's, there's our iron, nice. That seems to work. And then we've got, in case you're wondering where the ore sits while it's waiting to be stacked, it's right there at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so uh, I believe that worked. Um, wait, wait, where did the, Gold, how did that happen? How did that happen? Am I missing a window? No, I'm not missing a window. Oh, I don't have the, I'm smart. I forgot to uh, connect the uh, extra little, <sighs> 
it's fine. It's fine. We can fix that real quick. I have just enough shoots to do it. Oh, too far. Okay. Oh, not far enough. Dang it. All right. So yeah, I forgot to uh, connect this up. So corner going down and then that going in. And then uh, what we'll do here is we'll take that out so we can put this in. Where did the other one go? Where did the other one go? What? Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. I had two, right? Oh, I know where it went. That's why you gotta be careful when you're swapping stuff out. There it is, right there. Okay. All right, let's see if I can make this jump again. Good, all right. Now that can go into there, good to go. And now this can go back there. All right, that should be good to go. Okay, and now when I'm done sorting, I can just hit this little switch over there, turns everything off and I save power. Okay, so um, it works. Uh, we happen to have a lot of iron here, so that's good. Uh, looks like we don't have that much coal. That's fine as well. Um, how are we doing? Oh, you know what I could do? Um, on top of doing a valve, um, do I have any more? Uh, I'm gonna need, let's see, one, two more. Uh, shoot. No, just regular, regular shoot, please. One and two. All right, good to go. So we will turn this off, pick those up, swap this out. And as soon as I'm able to, of course, good to go. All right. Oh, no, we're gonna need more than that. Um, let me see, so that's gotta go, so it's at a 90, so that's gonna require a valve, a two-way, and then, okay, so I'm gonna need two more. All right. So there's one, and there's two, good. All right, now we should be good. All right, so first things first, we'll throw a valve in here. Um, uh, flitter, and there we go, valve. Um, nope, you have to go the other way. Is that the only way that can go? There's no like mirror image of this, no? Well, um, wait, 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 is this? Yeah, it is on both sides, okay, cool. Um, yeah, we'll go here. Good. Okay, so that's closed. And then we need a junction going the other way. And then on top of here, we need an outlet, or sorry, an inlet. Right there. Okay, good. So we'll leave that open. Um, and then I can take all of this stuff in here and actually start putting it away somewhere. So that can go, that can go, that can go. As long as they're full stacks, of course. I think the valve only used one. So that's why I had too many. All right, so that's good to go. Okay, so that is open. That will continue to fly through, but what I can do is close that, and then I can see all of the ores kind of pile up in here if I want, and then as soon as I want them to sort, I can hit that button right there, or lever or switch or whatever you want to call it. 
All right, and if you saw a little notification on the bottom of the screen, I have survived 72 days without dying. Uh, also, we have more stacks in here. So stack, stack, good. Another stack, good, good, good. All right, so that should be all of the things. Right, that's not going to sort if it's not turned on. Makes sense. All right, so that should take all of the stuff and start dropping them down. Um, we can kind of watch them go. So you can see stuff dropping in the middle, stuff dropping over there. Good. Very good. Excellent. All right. So the shadow of stuff dropping over here. So this is all of our like extra stuff that I don't really have a use for right now. Um, so it's just gonna chill there, I guess. Uh, I could potentially, no, no, I can't, not with that there. Um, I was gonna say I could put like a, a hopper right here so it all kind of goes out on, yeah, but that, no, that would, that would be a dumb idea. Okay. So here is my question. If I were to open this right now to get a coal, would it continue to stay open or does this need to be powered? Like it should trip on one stack, right? It does nothing. Okay, so it needs power in order to make it come out. Okay, that makes sense then. Otherwise it does nothing. Okay, so let's try it again. Flip it on. Okay, now that should just give me one. Perfect. There we go. That is how it works. That should come right out the top. Perfect. Wonderful. All right, we have some stuff stacking in there, which is great. Um, and now we have uh, ore on demand. So, good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go and turn the combustion centrifuge back on. Okay, so that can go here, that can go in there. All right. Oh, man. Uh, how are we doing on stuff? Okay, that's doing pretty good too. Uh, we will close this. Turn, oh, no, 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 whoops, do not. Ooh, that was scary. Well, let's just turn this off again, wait for it to slow down. Um, this thing does have space for an IC in here. So I wonder if I could do something that would make this go up to speed as soon as I turn it on. Um, I would have to figure out what the coding would be like with that. I mean, it would be interesting to try, because I mean, the way that I do this is actually fairly simple now, now that I've messed around with it quite a lot. So you turn it on, right? And then the first thing you do is you flip this up to 10%, and that's it. Give it a throttle 10, it's going to uh, go all the way up to the orange, maybe a little bit beyond it, and then it'll start backing down. And it'll do that all on its own. So I don't even have to do anything. All I gotta do is watch it and make sure it doesn't go into the red for some weird reason. So if we watch this, we can see that the stress is going up, but also, so are the RPMs, pressure, and the temperature, right? So we're starting to get up to speed. You can see it's jiggling a little bit from the stress, but that's all right. And then it should start going down, okay, eventually. Just gotta give it a minute. Okay, so now it's going back down, right? And now you let it go back down until you hit about, I don't know, 25% or something. So it's just it's just running right now. That's all, it's, like, I haven't touched anything on this. So the IC would have to check for the stress percentage. And then, um, yep, should be, okay, so there, now we bring it up one. And that should, uh, maybe make the stress go up. If it doesn't make the stress go up, then if it hits 15 or something, we'll put it up again. So there we go, so that's 30%. That should increase the stress, no? Okay. Then we're at 40. Still no stress. 
and now we're at 50 with zero stress. Okay, so now that we're here, um, 50 is all you're gonna put the throttle on, that's it. So then you just bring this up a little bit, see if the stress increases. If the stress does not increase, increase it again. Still no stress increase, okay, bring it up again. Now we're getting a stress increase, right? So now you gotta wait for the stress to go to wherever it's gonna go, or at least start going back down, which doesn't take very long. So it's already going back down now, right? So then we go up again. Stress is going up a little bit more. Wait for it to go back down. So now it's going back down, we bring that up again. Stress is going up a little bit. Now it's going back down. Now once we get here, like you basically don't have to worry about the stress at all. Like you can just pretty much max it out. And there you go. You've got this at 50% and you got that at 100% and that will get you up to full speed. We have zero stress and it's doing its thing. So I think you should be able to code that in there fairly easily because I mean, you have like, I don't know, you, if you just, how, how would I even quantify that in words? Like what I just did. I mean, like obviously as I was going through it, but if you have to translate that into some sort of code um, I don't know, but, uh, we are up to 433, 430, whatever, so we're doing good, it'll go up to like 485, 487, we still have a bunch of this stuff, which is good, and now we just let it run, and that's, that's pretty much it, and then, uh, as these things fill up even more, we'll actually literally see it fill up, instead of like in those STB silo, things which you can stack next to each other, which is very, very nice. But um, you can't see the stuff in it like you can with this. So that's kind of why I really like this setup here. And while the STB silo probably would have been easier to set up and much more compact, um, I like this better. So yeah. All right, how we doing? Uh, we have tomatoes on everything. Um, I don't think we need any more seeds. I think I'm up to like five, six seeds, something like that. Yeah, six seeds, okay. So I'm just gonna pull the tomatoes off of here. Pull the tomatoes off of there. And then that one does not have tomatoes yet. This one does, there we go. Um, how you doing? Doing good? Okay. So now all of these tomatoes can just go in there. And then that we can just kind of close for now. Now we have more food waiting to be made. Um, I do have one more cannon here, right? Yep, okay, good. And then we'll just cook all of these. And then they'll just kind of chill over in here. Um, and then I just need to make another can of soup. Easy enough. I wonder what this thing like is supposed to symbolize here. Like, what is it? blasting this with because I mean like that's your heating element back there right so that's heating up the whole thing so what is this doing and why is it going into my food <laughs> there we go alright so that's that then we can turn this on and then um, yeah There we go, another can of soup. Our food is now secure. Although I kinda wanna check out that IC editor. Um, I wanna see if I can set something up for the combustion centrifuge. See if I can get that to work. Um, I mean, it'll blow up if I don't, so, well, won't blow up. I think it just screeches to a halt, which is not good. Um, okay. So to do that, I'd have to print off an IC. So do I have all of the stuff required to do that? Uh, IC 10, programmable chip. All right. Gold, steel, electrum, solder. Uh, gold. Steel, uh, Electrum, Solder, 
Good. Good. We'll just make one of those, and then it should sp uh, just spit it right back out because I don't think those can stack. Oh man. Um, I am not looking forward to this potential um, inquiry into uh, the uh, IC10 programming, but it is what it is. We will see if we can make it work. All right, so that is that, that is that, that can go here. Now I just need to go and grab that computer out of here. Then um, let me get that motherboard out. So that can be stored somewhere. Um, okay, and then, let's see, I think we need a screwdriver first. Yep, put the IC10 over there. Uh, and then we need the drill. Hand drill does not have enough battery. Okay. Well, can we give it another battery? Yes, we can. All right. All right, so I'm gonna just leave those connections there in case I ever need to, you know, hook the computer back up again. Um, okay, so now, We get to try to program this thing, which is probably not going to be fun, let's be honest. But we'll try it anyways. Alright, so we're going to do the IC editor in there. Um, and then we just need to screw it up. Right? Yeah, okay. And then, luckily I think I have enough cable. Alright, so uh, you can go into here... That can go there. There we go. All right. Okay. So um, because this already has an IC slot, we're just going to plug that in right there. And because it's all connected, um, how fast is this thing going? 474. Okay. But uh, I'm going to have to uh, turn this thing off. So... Just um, empty out all the stuff so that way it doesn't cause any issues. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, it's on close. Okay, sweet. I need water, so I'm going to go and grab some real quick. Three cans of soup, which is amazing. Uh, that's at 100%. Good to go. All right. How's our oxygen? Oxygen is good. Waste tank is good. Battery? Battery's at 59%. Okay, so we'll swap that out so we don't get any annoying warnings. All right. Oh, man. Um, Okay, so this is um, not going to be fun. Uh, I need I need to make a thing real quick. Actually, no, I don't. Um, I can just use the F1 menu. Okay, let's. Uh, okay. Pause, and then we're just going to delete all of this stuff. Okay, so that is going to stay the same basically regardless. But this can change. Okay. So now, uh, can I access the F1 menu from here? I cannot. <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's uh, cancel. 
Oh, crap. I should have confirmed. Dang it. Um, okay, so combustion centrifuge. Good. Okay, so we've got all of the stuff here. Um, so we have combustion, prefab, required power, ratios, temperatures, uh, power, pressure, total moles, input, stress. Okay, so that I definitely need to read. Um, and then uh, we're going to need our throttle and our, okay, so that's just straight up throttle, okay. Combustion limiter, combustion output. Okay, so now something I don't remember is if I have to be specific in what I'm calling for on here. So it doesn't look like it because on here I'm just pulling the entire solar panel so that should pull up everything that involves that. So let's go back in here. I wish I could like highlight. That doesn't seem to work. I mean, I can do that, I suppose. How did that not delete that? What? Okay. Then we'll do the combustion, oops, comsent, um, and we'll put that in D1 or D0, I guess. Confirm. OK, so now I just want to set this thing up real quick just to make sure that I'm pulling from the right thing. Advanced furnace. Do I not pull from this directly? Or does it just automatically pull that up because it's connected into there? Advanced furnace, auto lathe, computer, console hab, daylight sensor, door hab, inner. So, no, that should be in here, but it's not. So, I'm assuming that doesn't have to be anything. So, how do I make that go empty? Um, well, I see housing is going to pull from that over there because that's what it's connected to. Solar panel dual. Whatever. Um, so I think I don't have to actually set anything in there. So let's go back into here, pause the game. Um, so that is, that doesn't even matter. Um, so do I not need to do any aliases then? I don't know, um, we'll just, okay. So first thing that I need to do, uh, we need to, okay, first we need to put the stress into a register. So set um, actually, what is the correct terminology for this? No, okay, that's not anything. Uh, okay, so has name, blah, 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 blah. This is all the, okay, so this is ABS. Register the absolute value, any character online after this is okay, yeah, that's fine. And a sign tan. Okay. And I'm gonna have to do the branch thing as well. Um Cosine divide, blah, 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 blah. There's so much stuff in here. 
I need s. Okay, so stores register value to logic device on to logic type on device. But if I can't, I mean, do I just assume that it's in there? Store register value to logic type. So what if I just want to set a register? That's a batch. That's not what I need. Um, let's see. Stores register value to logic type on all output, whatever, whatever. Um, select seq. Um, this is register equals 1 if a equals b, otherwise 0. So it's set if equal, I think. OK. Um, SLA. stores register value to logic type on device. Okay, but if I don't, what if I just want to set a register? Would that be alias? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, alias string um, stress. I'm pretty sure this isn't the way this works because that's just calling r1 stress. Um, which is already a thing. And then I have to set r0 to stress, which comes from the machine. But apparently it doesn't like that. OK, apparently it likes that. OK. So that should store or set this equal to that, right? Um, and then we're going to need throttle. So set one throttle. This is probably not the way that this works. Um, and then set r2 equal to uh, combustion limiter. So I think that's how that works. And then I should probably also save the rotation speed. Uh, rotation, rotation, no, that's not it either. OK, um, let's just confirm this real quick, go into here. OK, so open temperature, pressure, ratios, total moles, combustion, export count on off, uh, pressure input, I don't care about any of that. All of these ratios, pressure output, temperature output, um, throttle, RPM. That's what it is. OK. So let's go back into here. Uh, OK, so RPM, RPM. OK, and that's going to be register 3. So these are the things that I need to look at, right? <sighs> OK. Um, So I suppose what I could do is export that and then see if it gives me some kind of a error when I turn it on. Yep. OK. It does. All right. So it doesn't like that. Uh, what did it Did it say the error? Oh. OK. So it's not going to do anything. That's fine. Uh, incorrect argument at line 2. OK. So that's fine. Um, I'm also going to have to Wait, no, I have that already. OK. So it doesn't like this. So how do I set a register? Hang on. I'm, I got to go online because I don't know this coding is not, um, I don't understand it yet. 
engineers, uh, IC10 set register. Okay, DR0. What is DR0? What? Add BLT. What? Okay, move. What does the move command do? And then we have next, and then we have. Um, alias r iterator no that's okay that's not what i need i need to set so do i need how does this work um okay so let's go back and check out what they've got for ic10 combustion centrifuge Okay, what does this say? Working IC code, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you can find it here, it's in French. Oh. See how my French is, I guess. Um, scripts the palatage de la centrifugius a gaz. Uh, so uh, scripts for operating the centrifuge. Um, I'm not sure what a gaz means. Uh, Okay, so don't modify the parameters um, of the scripts. Uh, and then, uh, um, okay. So this is just checking the mixes. Um, affichage complementaire. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it's just got a lot of different things up there. Okay, so that's... Wait, wait, no, this is all IC things. This is an IC10 coding. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Um, centrifuge. Let's take a look at this. No, that's just the pictures. That's not helping me. Okay, so that's... Nah. That is not what I need. Um, okay. All right, so um, let's see what else I can find. Uh, crude but working combustion centrifuge. Okay. Uh, alias centrifuge D0, alias silo D1, alias waste pump D2, settable values, alias throttle, alias limiter. Okay, read only, alias, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, okay, so move throttle one move limiter one waste pump on one what set the centrifuge on one okay um how do i pull these values off of the centrifuge though db what is db hang on uh db is that in here at all no okay so then what what is that it says uh they use an external chip instead of the internal one because i thought i wanted to control more devices if you want to use it directly on the centrifuge replace d0 with db and decrement the other devices to d0 and d1 okay so then how Okay, so then centrifuge db. Like, what is what is db? What is that right there? I mean, obviously it's something, but it's not in here, right? So that doesn't help me. Um, it's probably not going to be in here. Nope. Uh, is it in here? Nope. Okay, so I have no idea what that is or what it does, but okay. Um, so he's got all kinds of stuff on here. Um, 
And let's see, so he's got an alias in here for throttle R0. He's got another alias in here for the limiter R1. Um, I'm going to need an alias in there for stress R2. R2, there we go. Um, and then I'm also going to need another one in here for alias rpm if I could type uh, r3 yep okay so then we'll get rid of all of that because I don't know if that's what I actually need okay <clears throat> move or to start to 100 alias or quantity r5 and then it's telling it to just jump to sleepy, which is telling it to sleep first. Um, start is got a colon after it, so that's just a jump to point. Uh, move throttle one, move limiter one. Set waste pump on one, like where? Okay, so that's D2, but why did, hang on, centrifuge, D, do I have to? Hmm. It's okay. We will figure it out. What am I at for time in here? 46 minutes. Okay, so we have a little bit of time to try to figure this thing out. Um, sleep 10. Is that a command that we have? Sleep. Uh, or quantity if equal to whatever. Centrifuge throttle throttle. Set centrifuge throttle throttle. Okay. So if I want to immediately set, wait, no, 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 this would have to go here, right? Set centrifuge uh, logic type, hang on, um, stress to R, what is that, two? Okay, so we're creating the registers and naming them. And then we are, I could just easily do it like that. We're setting the centrifuge stress to stress. But at the same time, I could just get rid of this whole thing and just call it DB, apparently, instead of that, because this is just allows me to swap out names. Um, I don't know, man. Um, okay, so we basically have to load all of this stuff, right? So let's just continue on what we're doing. Centrifuge. Um, and then that was RPM to RPM. Except it's not RPM, it's RPM. Um, okay, and then we have to set uh, centrifuge limiter. Now that's combustion limiter. Combustion. I can't type. There we go. Combustion limiter. And that goes to R1. And then the throttle. Uh, set centrifuge. Let's see. Throttle. And then that just needs to be labeled limiter because that's what I'm calling it. And then this just goes to throttle. Okay. And then uh, let's see. So we're going to call this emergency. So jump if equal. Wait, how does that work? Is that branch if equal? Okay, so branch if equal uh, stress to a number, which should be 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Um, and then we want to jump to 
Hang on. Stress, if it's greater, no, if it's greater than, so BGT, right? Um, 75%. I mean, I don't know if that's how it's registered in there, but I don't, I don't know. Um, which means I'm gonna have to do another alias up here. Uh, alias power r4. Okay, and then jump equal to no branch. Okay, and then we just do emergency. And then from here, we, and that has to be capitalized, right? I'm probably doing this whole thing wrong, but um, okay, so if, now we have to set something. So set power equal to zero, so I have to set I have to save something to something. So basically, I'm making a subroutine right now. Um, so this is a, a routine that is outside of the main uh, loop. And then it just kind of jumps out of there when it needs to. And I can put another jump to jump back into the loop if I need to as well. Um, that's pretty common in most programming languages. So I think I understand that part. Um, OK, so that's a jump. And then this is a branch stress greater than 75, we want to branch to emergency. And then if we want to write, um, uh, no, we want to set, yeah, because that's the D. So that's going to be the centrifuge. And then we're going to set the power. And then we're going to set that to zero. Can we do that? And then that should just turn it off. But um, okay, so let me put this at like 10% stress just to see if this thing works. So let's confirm, um, let's export, and then we'll turn this on. Oh my god, it actually worked. No, it didn't work, dang it. Okay, line 12. <laughs> uh, okay, so centrifuge, stress, stress. Stress, um, what's wrong with line 12? So if you don't like stress, then let's do R2. Nope. Now it doesn't like line 11. OK, so what's, what's wrong with line 11? No, that's the same line. OK, so first it was, oh, right, because I deleted a line. OK, so it doesn't like this. Um, so I don't think it's anything wrong with that specifically, because it did make it through all of this stuff. So I think it's setting stuff as it should. Um, but it doesn't like this for some reason. So let's just make sure that, okay, so that is there. Okay. And that is read. Okay. All of these are read. I can write to the throttle. I can write to the limiter. Okay. Is there anything else I can write to? I can write to on. I can write to clear memory. Um, so that has to be on and not power. OK. On and then centrifuge on. Or just on. Or I could just do it like that. Wouldn't that do the same thing? And that just basically turns the whole thing off, right? So let me, well, we will debug. All right. Okay, con 
confirm, export, turn this on. Okay. So that's doing a thing. All right, cool. Uh, so that should get this thing going, and then we should hit 10% stress very quickly. And is that turning it off? It is not. Stress is much greater than 10% right now. Okay, so that is not working. All right, so we'll just turn that off. <sighs> okay. Um, Okay, so what if this has to be like 10, like that? Branch greater than that, it should go here and set that to zero, right? And this should be a Boolean, it's either on or off, so it's either one or zero. One meaning on, zero meaning off. Okay, so let's confirm, let's export. How you doing? So if I turn this on right now, that should go through here and turn it off, but it's not doing that. Okay, I need, um, yeah, I need that thing so I can see what is set to where and how it's set and what values are in there. Um, so that is in here, and that's, uh, what is that thing called? Um, I need a cartridge, uh, plant analyzer, nope, configuration, that's what I need. I need iron and copper. Okay, um, iron and copper is in there, good to go. There's some iron, there's some iron and copper. Okay, good. So we'll make that thing, turn that off, turn that off. All right, so now I have this cartridge, which I can then swap out with my Atmo car cartridge and see what things are where. That needs a new battery. Okay, so that can go back into there, that can close, and then this can go out here, and we are at 0% stress. So now this should tell me all of the stuff. Okay, so stress is at zero right now, so if we turn this on and we flip this up, okay, stress is at four, five, six, okay, so it's whole numbers. Okay. All right, so branch greater than stress 10, right? But um, I need to write stress into here first for it to be able to read anything, right? So I need to set centrifuge stress to R2. And then once that is done, or no, we need to set this to stress because that's what I'm using for it down here. So this should set this into there. And then I'm checking that to see if it's over 10. So we will confirm, we will export, we will turn on. And it doesn't like, doesn't like that code for whatever reason. Um, okay, why?
Okay, so how are they setting stress? Alias stress R2. Okay, I did the same thing. But then how are you setting R2? Okay, so it is move throttle one, move limiter one, set waste pump on one, silo centrifuge on one, centrifuge open zero. Wait, if, what? And then accelerate, and accelerate is the main loop. So it sleeps for 10 seconds or 10 ticks of the game. And then checking the ore quantity, silo quantity, whatever, um, telling it to sleep if it's at a certain amount. Um, okay, then set centrifuge throttle throttle. Set centrifuge combustion limiter to limiter. And then load, oh, it's a load, not a set. Okay, so load. <sighs> okay. Confirm, let's export, okay. Nope, still doesn't like it. Why, what? Why don't you like it? Okay, so line 11, so we're loading centrifuge stress, right? Load, oh no, that's, okay, so load has a completely different Way to do this, so we're loading our variable first with centrifuge stress. What why why can't you just make it the same thing as set? Like I don't why is it gotta be different? I don't understand. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's export. Do you like me now? Okay. That actually freaking worked. Good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, then I have to change all of these around. So we're going to load into the limiter centrifuge combustion limiter. And then this whole thing has to come out and this is going to load uh, into the throttle uh, centrifuge. Um, Throttle. And then I'm going to load into stress. So loading is like reading and then setting is like writing, if I'm understanding that correctly. Centrifuge. Um, why is that set on stress? No, this needs to be RPMs. Uh, RPM, lowercase rpm to RPM with capital letter, and then that should be that. Okay. Okay. Let's confirm. Export. Okay. So stress is now at 10. Okay. So now we have this on. There are no errors. Good. As soon as we flip this up, that'll start increasing the stress, and it should turn itself off if I hit 10%. And it just did. Perfect. Okay, so that works. Okay, um, and then I have to do uh, set centrifuge, if I could type uh, throttle zero, and then set centrifuge uh, combustion limiter to zero as well. So that should reset all of the switches and start us off again. So let's hit confirm and export. All right, turn this on. Okay, we are under stress, good. Put it up at 20%, get the stress up there real quick. That should turn off. And it switched everything back down, okay, good. Good, all right. 
So now that I know that that works properly, um, we can set this uh, to 75. So if it ever hits that, just immediately turn everything off. In fact, I could even probably make this 65. Okay. All right, now I have to keep in mind that this thing is running in a loop. Um, okay. I think it's, no, oh, I don't need that then, right? No, because I'm not checking that for anything. Uh, centrifuge, limiter stress, RPMs. Okay, that's good. Um, Okay, so then the first thing that we do is we will set that to 1, but um, I think I need to make sort of like a step process. Um, it's basically a counter, so we're going to alias counter into R4. And then before we do anything, um, we need to set counter um, actually how do I do that I just want to set it to zero set counter zero Is that even gonna work I have no idea um, export it see if it gives, gives us an error and we got an error on line seven okay so it does not like that particular code okay So, no, hang on, um, counter zero. Is that gonna work? That's probably not gonna work either, but we'll give it a try. Nope, still doesn't like that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so then how do you... Hmm. How many lines do I have available in here? 127? Okay. Okay, so um can I do a set if less than? Uh, SLT, yes I can, okay. Um, centrifuge. And then this will be throttle. Wait, no, how do, I need more arguments for this. Um, can I find SLT in here? Okay, register equals one if A is less than B, otherwise zero. Okay, so that's only gonna set a one or a zero? Well, that's not, <sighs> that's not what I need. Um, well, I mean, this is why I need the counter, right? Okay. So normally in the coding that I would do, I would, it's called dim, D-I-M, um, counter as integer, right? So that is basically what the alias is doing, right? So it's just saying that I can use counter as an integer, right? And I can set it to whatever I want. And then what I would do is I would um, say counter equals zero, right? And then from there, uh, I would go into a loop and I would say counter equals counter plus one. And then that would, you know, for every iteration of the loop, it would increase the counter by one. Um, so I kind of want to do the same thing here, but I need to figure out how to set a register equal to a variable that I can easily change whenever I need to. But it seems like, I mean, unless it's this thing right here, set counter counter equal to zero. But I don't know, it, it doesn't like that. So that's kind of the issue that I'm running into. So this is not the way to do it. 
But I mean, all I'm doing is I'm literally putting a number into this register. That's it. I'm just setting a register. So will it work if I do it with just that? Probably not. No, doesn't like that either. Okay. So how do I change a register? Would that be load? Hang on. So if I load counter, well, no, because that's that's loading it from an object. That's not what I need. Okay. Um, I need. Move? What does move do? Is that what I'm looking for? Move. Provide. Okay, register equals provided number. Okay, so that's. Why do they call it move? Okay, whatever. Um, okay, so move counter zero. All right, so that should set that to zero. Okay. Now, counter is going to be what we're going to be setting our throttle to, but we need to be able to compare this. Um, and I think that would just be easier with you know, its own register counter thing. Okay. So um, I need an if statement. So that's going to be a branch, I guess. Well, hang on, let me Okay, um, what kind of time do we have in here right now? Uh, we are at, oh wow, we are way over an hour. Okay, um, then we're going to end the video here. Uh, and I'm gonna do some research and I'm gonna see if I can make this thing, basically I turn the power button on and it gets itself up to speed all by itself. Um, that would be the dream but I think that's going to take some doing, and I have no idea how long it's going to take me to do it, so I'm probably not going to record it. <sighs> but um, I will figure it out. I will get it done. And then I should hopefully have something that works. But um, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did, hope you'll join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one.